so guys finally i fixed my macbook pro 13 inches m2 with the dual monitor setup and i was searching for these solutions for a couple of days now but i couldn't find and there is a lot of mess on my desk because you can see the microphone and other things are here like ivanki docking stations there are now 34 ports and i can connect any of these peripherals and i don't know what kind of macbooks are not supporting m1 and m2 chips uh, for the dual monitors so i asked chat gpt here what kind of models are there so as per my information macbook air m1 and m2 and then macbook pro 13 inches m1 and m2 models are not supporting so i'll guide you everything step by step how i fixed on this one this is macbook pro 13 inches m2 and uh, it is connected via this docking station that is the one docking station and that is ivanki fusion dock max one the, the review link is in the description you can go there and check and then this one is same ivanki fusion dock one both of the docking stations are connected via power and uh, this one is for Avanki Fusion Dock One Plus and that is connected via this uh, power hub and that is connected there is inside you can't see there so these both docking stations come with the VGA cables type C and uh, this power so how basically i fix them because in this docking station that is the fusion dock max one i tried it has so many ports as you can see and on the back side as well you can see there are multiple ports up to 4k 6k display and type c hdmi everything is available and this is a power house this is connected via these two usb c go into the computer and that is consuming lot of power here instead of just taking the power from my macbook and uh, i connected this all the peripherals here everything is working but the dual monitors they were not working but now it's all right as you can see here i have uh, lg that is 4k monitor uh, you can see the resolution that some now my main monitor and this one is a samsung monitor that supports only 1920 by 1080 and that's the built-in display of my macbook uh, m2 13 inches so what i did i tried so many methods of um, display link software as well i went to synaptics website and downloaded display link software in the past but this docking station fusion dock max one is now working with that one then what i did i went to the same website and downloaded display link and that is now here yeah now after downloading and installing display link software and removing all the previous versions rather than connecting this docking station fusion dock max one i connected fusion dock one plus and with the help of this software it automatically detected everything the setup now now this is fusion dock max one connected to my macbook and with the power like this one that's here in the background you can see their adapter is there that is connected via this adapter and now here is the docking station then i connected this docking station oh powered off yeah this docking station what i mean this docking station is connected to my macbook and this docking station is connected to fusion dock max one the cable is here you can see clearly the cable goes into the docking station so in this way both of the docking stations are taking power from the external adapters here they are specifically designed for those docking stations then both are connected to the power here this is a power house all the docking stations are here now i can use the software here display link and now it is gonna detect my displays here that is lg standard it shows one but actually they are two and now i can easily drag and move these windows here or there upside so it's easy smooth there is one thing i noticed that in the settings section here for lg monitor for example some of the settings are now in low resolution you can see that the low resolution is clearly written there but you can still go up to 4k but 
I don't go for the 4K because that makes the text so smaller and I can't even read that one. So I just stay on 1920 by 1080 even though it's a 4K monitor and that's the one same as well. But you can see the clear difference between colors. I choose this uh, LG monitor because of the colors. I edit videos and post on the internet on YouTube. So that's why you can see the color difference. That's not very accurate. This is a low resolution model, but yeah, it's working with this one now. And now I can simply go to my setting and arrange these displays according to my choice, anywhere I can place them. So oh, finally, this is my setup, guys. One microphone that's that is Blue Yeti X and uh, the trackpad. This LG monitor. This is Samsung monitor. That's uh, L10 Pro mouse, and this is also Logitech uh, keyboard. This is Logitech uh, 1080p webcam, and that's the laptop. And I can easily drag any window, for example, like this, and drag it to this one or bring it there. Now it's working quite fine and I can even close the lid and that's it. Now everything is working with the lid closed. That is clamshell or whatever it is called. You can clearly see the display resolution 1920 by 1080 here and 4K here. And I didn't uh, check the 4K. If I just bring the 4K, you will see if there is any difference. But yeah, now this is how it works.